Hello and welcome. I'm Zinder and uh, there's a business shipment up here. We're gonna go get this bad boy. There's gonna be a lot of resources involved in this one. I was just kind of sitting there on the platform, just messing around, and then here it is. So, okay, I'm getting to about a thousand meters. I'm gonna slow up. I want to make sure I'm coming at it from the right angle because this is uh, like the private sale you'll want to come at this from the front but you have to be very careful about it because it's not quite as safe to attack from the front per se and I'll show you why in a minute dampeners off Slow, slow my speed in relation. So, this only has guns on one side as opposed to both sides. However, you have to be careful because from the front it can be a bit hard to tell which side has the gun. Okay, good, good. Uh, the conveyor side is the side without the guns. It's very similar to the private sale in comparison to uh, the location of the cockpit. It does have this in the way, which is easy enough to cut down. I prefer attacking these over the private sales because this is considerably easier and the resources inside of one of these is higher than a private sale. Uh, by that logic I could also, you know, say that I wish the private sales were easier to assault and these were slightly harder. Like, I mean, the thing with, with this is, that makes it so easy, is it basically provides you a giant shield on the front where you have time to collect your location and work with it if that makes any sense. So, get this stopped. This has batteries. I'm gonna activate the batteries uh, because it'll drain from the batteries before it drains from the uranium. Oop. Now, right down here, oh, sorry, sorry, it's it off. Right down here is one of the cargo containers. What I do is I'll break this one and fix it so I can use it, which it actually has decent stuff in it, because one of the uh, turrets is located directly up here, and this is an assembler, so there's quite a lot of resources involved in it. And I'm going to break this and let that gun float for a second. Because I need to go take out the other gun because they have a direct view of each other. So I don't want to be playing with this gun whenever the other one's also still up. Uh, because I have the inertia on, we should be moving. The other gun is right here on the other side of this cabin. Unlike uh, other things, if you break down one of these the whole way while there's still inventory in them, the, uh, the bullets will be lost. So... Just make sure to, if you want the magnesium from the bullets, because that's about all you really gain from saving these, is the magnesium, make sure you pull those out first. Now that we've got that done, I can go back in here, I can grab this, and we are good to send the ship back to base. These have a lot more fuel they generally have in the area of about... 30 uranium, 30, 35, something like that. So, when it comes down to actual uranium that you're going to gain from getting it, it's actually really good. Also, the forward thrust is completely crap on these, so it takes a while to speed up. Whereas, uh, when you turn on the inertial, inertial dampeners, you'll stop very quickly. Uh, I don't know why, as far as I know, it's only got like one thruster on the front, but it just seems to be something with the game where it'll like basically overdrive thrusters if you 
if they're being inertial dampened, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I did put in the new decorative blocks. Uh, 50 will do. Oh, uh, let me get out of this and just kind of hover in space here. There, these, the one that labeled Betten is the concrete ones. Uh, it's clearly not in English, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, well, that is a slight issue. The issue, of course, being that the description's also not in English of what the things it requires is, but that's okay. Uh, I also added Interiorama, which adds some doors, like glass doors, and a metal door, and some cameras. There's also, down here in their own little separate little hiding spot, the uh, Frozen Star paneling number one, and the slope, and Frozen Star Rusk paneling number one. Which, I actually thought there was more in these packs. There is a few other uh, ones I didn't add in because I was concerned about the actual, like, implications of them because they actually have, like, one of... <clears throat> oh, sorry. One of them is essentially a better... Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. crap. One of them is essentially a better heavy armor block, I think. The description was kind of, mm, to be honest. Uh, how am I doing? Am I going to scrape the solar panels? That would be slightly unpleasant. sideways and we are ready to rip this baby down might as well start with the seat I want to get into the reactor and pull out the fuel 34.3, that's a pretty good amount, actually. Uh, the only downside is, because I'm not using a sort of, like, grinder array, I can't make good use of everything. And I added two more assemblers here. The dampeners were off. I will throw this in here. This should give me power for a good while. Uh, I'll actually put these in the, well, okay, we'll go to the assembler one and I'll turn off the conveyor system so it won't pull. Throw those in there. This is almost done. What I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to produce putting all these things in here so that way I actually know how much I have of things. I'll have an actual accurate representation of whether or not I'm going to have enough to make more plates. Guys can all stay there. Now, I want to make drill, not drills, uh, grinders. Thinking 36 of them, because it worked out pretty well for me before. One, two, three, that's 30. 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, so I'm going to turn the conveyor system back on for this, and I'm going to set cooperative mode. I don't know how well this is going to work, because there's no resources in any of the other ones. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. 
it's a new feature and I don't know if there's a whole lot of documentation on it and I don't know if it actually works very well either. The thing we're going to do is I'm going to take Assembler 4 I'm going to turn off the conveyor system. Assembler 4? And I'm going to set Assembler 4 to Disassembly. I did realize how this works. Uh, this right here, see how it's showing an assembler? That's because there's enough materials in there to be an assembler. So that's what it's tearing down right now. If that makes any sense. Like it's tearing down all the components of an assembler into its own little like separate components. If that makes any sense. It's basically doing it as a giant batch job. I noticed it, I was paying attention to it earlier because I saw it. I was like, what the heck? It's breaking down some type of a metal block. And I'd watch, and when it would finish the long process of it, it would break down a bunch of steel plates. So I think it's actually, what it's doing is it's trying to be very efficient about how it's breaking stuff down. Instead of running a bunch of operations, it'll run one large operation that's slower. That's my theory, anyhow. Curious, I'm still am not sure, and I'm not sure if anybody's replied to these videos on whether or not they think I should put any mods in. But, uh, I'm still curious as to whether I should, because, I mean, it is an alpha game, it is lacking in you know, some aspects, obviously, because it's an alpha, it's not complete, and I, I don't want to be that guy that literally just covers an entire thing in thrusters in order to get enough thruster power, which is like one of the mods I want, I'm considering putting in, what it does is it helps alleviate that problem by basically providing me thrusters that are slightly larger, but more powerful. But, you know, with that comes, you know, higher power costs and everything, so I, I can see it probably being balanced, I might actually have to test that one out. And the thing is, is mods are a lot easier to add and remove into this, compared to, say, something like Minecraft. So, what I'll probably do is I'll put them in and do balance checks, and then if I feel like they're imbalanced, I'll remove them. Now the cool thing about the used conveyor system is it just stops the automatic usage. I can still put stuff in here, no problem. Speaking of which, how are we doing? We are still on the first batch of processing. You know what? Let me just consolidate these. It'll make it simpler. Once it completes all the construction components, which is obviously going to take a while, uh, it should be pretty good afterwards. Like, the rest of this should go by pretty quickly. I wish there was, like, an automatic consolidation option, but... Meh. What are you gonna do? Take what you're given and move on. Is it at least six by six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect! Perfect! Seven is actually the perfect number. Uh, the reason for that being. Where's the door? Uh, I need one extra row, and the one extra row is for conveyors along the side because then what'll happen is the conveyors are there to pull all the stuff out of the uh, 
the drills and you know send it over to the system to get automatically disassembled. So I'm actually very happy with the side platform. It's almost like it was designed for this. I might make a small welding ship. Uh, 15 minutes? Yeah, we got plenty of time. Okay. Let's go over here. I'm going to give Assembler 1 back its components. And I'm going to go to Assembler 2. I'm going to make... Well, obviously, the first thing is I'm going to want a foot. Good, good, good. Uh, then I'm going to want probably... Seventy? Seventy's probably more than enough. Uh, I'm also going to need... I'm gonna need a gyroscope, for sure. I'm gonna make a small reactor, because that's just kind of what I have for use at the moment. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on. I have silver and gravel. Don't be this way. space right here. Dampeners on, please. New small ship. What? Why are you floating? New small ship. You want to make sure you complete the landing gear, otherwise you'll have to destroy the landing gear if you want to be able to take, take off. Uh, oh, I probably should have made a cockpit. Cockpits. And then I'm going to need a welder. Hopefully this goes as well as planned. Uh, I'm going to want... I'm going to go with a medium cargo container. sort that out on its own. Okay, assembler two. I wanted to make sure it was done with its production queue. Okay, so... One small ship so it's going to be the front. That is the great question. Yes, this will be the front. That's a grinder. That is not what I want.
Yeah, I was worried about that. Uh, I'll put it on top, I think. What? Well, that's unpleasant. Yeah, we have a slight problem. This will need to be torn down. Because this update is a bit. I'm gonna go with. Buggy? I mean, one could argue that, you know, it really should fly away. Time for your crap game. Okay, I need to do this very, very carefully. Otherwise, that's gonna keep happening. Is it because it's not complete? Hold on. Okay. Lock? Is it locked? It is not locked. Is that because it doesn't have a source of power? I give you a small reactor. I go get a tiny amount of uranium. Let's try two. Welder down on top. Do that. I'm gonna need a gyro. This should make sure it won't rotate. I don't know. What's up with landing gear? Like, but it's apparently broken? I don't understand. Like, I know there are some bug reports, but that's, like, really buggy.
Let's make... Wait, can I just attach this directly to that and call it done? Oh, missed. That should resolve all issues related to that. Although, I feel like I've been screwed out of something here. Medium cargo. I must have accidentally used some of the components on something else or something. What? What's going on here? I need one motor, 15 interior plates, and four construction components. Like, why is it being weird? Assembler 2, motor. I don't have nickel or cobalt, huh? Still lacking interior plates, but it'll probably be functional without those. Why do I still need four construction components though? Whoops. Well, there, it's functional. Thrusters. I'm going to put that there. These plates are completely unnecessary, then. Energy low. Uh-huh, uh-huh, 
Energy low, because I didn't fully recharge last time. I'm not going to this time. Disorienting anybody, me being completely sideways. Okay, and then for the vertical thrusters. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna put the down one on the other side. Oh, another business ship. Uh, we are at 31 minutes, but I'd like to see this thing move. I just want to get that business shipment. It moves! Okay, so that is our really funky welding mobile. How much do I have on? Yeah. I really want to get this other business shipment. But, you've already seen me get one, so you don't really need to see me get this one. However, next time we'll be picking up with uh, the grinder array. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.